Today we're going to be removing rust from this old Ford bed here. First order of business, pull these bad boys out. There we go. So here's the setup. I got a wench up there, coming down. Then I, get, then I get my wires here that connect to the wench. And if my math is correct, uh, this thing should lift right off. That's pretty much it to removing the rust part of it. Um, on a Ford, usually once you take this off, you pretty much have to throw away the uh, bottom half. That's a little Chevy humor for you Chevy guys that never grew up. But seriously, sometimes you do have to just throw away the whole bottom half of the truck and you just keep the bed. All right, for these wires right here, you really got to get the right tool because those go to your lights for your plate. There we go. I'm actually getting a glimpse here of what it would have looked like if I would have got that 16 inch lift kit I wanted for Christmas. Man, that would have looked really nice. I like to spackle the holes. This stuff's great for this. It's great for patching sheetrock. Now this is a really nice feature. They got the spare tire under here where it's not very convenient to get at. So if you have a flat, now's the time to change it. It's super simple to remove. You take the iron through your jack. Okay, so at this point of the build, you're gonna to wanna to undercoat the frame. This step seems a little bit strange to me but I've been reading it on a lot of forms. So 